Hello, my name is Lena, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to November wrap up. I almost want to say October, but October is long gone, and it's already December. So, yeah, time flies. I don't know where did the year go. It's already so close to end of the year, but we are here to talk about the books. I'm here to talk. You're here to listen about the books that I read in November. In November, I read six books. It was a decent reading month. Six is not bad. The last two were short ebooks, but let's go in order. I read the books and start with the first one. So the first book I finished was A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. This is a YA mystery where a girl decides to do a school project on um, murder that happened five years ago. Yes, five years ago in her town. And she doesn't believe that the person who was blamed for a crime was the one who did it. And uh, she decides to follow the clues and leads and look back to that case and see what she can find. I enjoyed the book. It was really interesting following the girl what was her name? Pipa. Uh, and how she figures things out. I like that this has like a bit of extra stuff. The notes on the research he, she is doing, like interview tra transcripts. There are like pictures from diaries, emails and things like that. I enjoy those uh, multimedia things inserted into books so yeah i find that really interesting but what i didn't like is that i didn't believe that uh I she's a high schooler i don't really know the school system in england but in uk but i didn't believe that it was it is possible for a school kid to do the things she did but Despite that, it was really interesting and compelling story, and I really wanted to know what ha actually happened, and we figured it out. I know that there are two more books in this series. I enjoyed it. It was good. So if I have a chance, I will definitely read the next book. So, yeah. The next I tackled The Beast, that is Dune by Frank Herbert. I read it in Latvian. I don't know if I would have been able to read it in English because it was written quite a long time ago, I feel like. And there are some terms that I, I'm not sure I would understand them if I read it in English. But who knows? Maybe I would. Maybe I, like take myself for granted and, I don't know, just feel less of myself than I should. But it's... <laughs> let's talk about a book. So it is a story about... I don't know. It's very hard to tell what it is about. We follow Paul. He's our main character. Then we have his mother, Jessica. And they are... His family, Paul's family, is kind of forced to move to this new planet that is desert-like planet. And things go on there. I don't know. It's very political. At some point, it is quite slow story because it's a beast. And yeah, I don't know. I really don't know how to talk about this one. I can say that it was interesting. Though I didn't like the ending and I didn't like how women are referred to as witches a lot. Like, a lot. I guess I don't have strong feelings about the book since I don't know what to say about it. It took a time. I spent like almost half a month definitely one third of a month reading this book. I'm glad I finished it. I like, I'm scared of big books and when I finish one, I feel really good and proud of myself that I tackled it and finished it and didn't hate it. 
but I didn't love it either. But yeah, I think it's hard to explain what this one is about. Because at, at the beginning, we start on a different planet and then the family and their people. They are like barons and er earls. I don't know how to talk about this in English, apparently, because those titles that they have, and there is an emperor who is like above everyone else. And then there are, are those barons, earls, or what is the thing, the title for them? But they kind of rule over planets. And so Paul's family, they move to Arrakis. Oh my God, I can't remember anything about this one. Arrakis? I guess, Arrakis, the planet, the, the desert planet, they are moved there and a lot of things happen like politically because there are treason, people stab others in the back and then there is this old kind of prophecy of uh, someone wise and someone i don't know yeah i don't know how to talk about this one but basically we follow paul how after moving to the new planet how things change for him how he changes and what happens on the planet itself because like they are newcomers to the planet but there are people who've been living there for a really long time and then there are people who want to be there who want to rule and there is this spice on the planet that is used in everything kind of and there are big big sandworms or whatever they're called i there were they can be really 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 big like I don't know how many meters tall, but there are big. I don't know if you've seen the movie, then you probably know more about this one, but I haven't seen the movie. I will watch it. I think the first movie is like about a half of the book and then the second one will be the rest. But yeah, who knows? I probably will watch the movie sometime, but who knows when. But yeah, I didn't... I didn't love the book. I didn't really like hate it, like hate it, hate it. And I will read the sequel because the sequel is like two times or even three times shorter than this one. And I already have it in Latvian, of course. But yeah, I think that's it. That's enough of rambling about this book. It truly was a ramble, not like a coherent thoughts. Next I have Time of the Saints or Svato Likes by Linda Nemir. This is a Latvian author, my favorite Latvian author, I believe, I think I would say. And this is her newest book and I finally read it and I enjoyed it. It is a story about a real estate agent and she has problems with gambling. It's not a main focus, but we know that th she has a problem and she's in debt and she struggles with that. And then at work, she is tasked to help a client who recently bought like a residential area outside of the main city and she needs to help figure out how they can help and sell the houses there. And because of her private issues, she kind of leaves the city and goes to that place. There are those houses she's trying to sell. She will try. She's like researching things and looking into things right now. And she moves there and spooky things happen. At one point we have a storyline from the past where we look into a family and some things that happened there. So yeah, it is spooky and the place itself, it has been empty for quite some time. We get the just that it's been empty because no one's been able to sell it. Yeah. Why? We don't know. But yeah, she lives there where things happen. And the ending, 
I don't know. I still don't know what I think about the ending. Because I would like to know how someone else interprets the ending. Because I'm really confused. I don't know if I understood it right. Probably it is left like that. So we make our own decisions, conclusions, what happened. We want to believe it or not. But yeah, the ending was really confusing and weird. Not bad weird, but just... I was like shocked and I didn't know what to think and yeah I enjoyed this one quite a lot then I read Gallant by Wee Schwab this is my second Wee Schwab book and I liked it again I really like that we have like um, diary entries and this one inserted I like those things and there are illustrations and there are like story behind why these are and what they are so this is about a girl who lives in kind of school for young girls and she's an orphan she doesn't know her parents she was left when she was little and now suddenly she receives a letter from her uncle and he's inviting her to a state named gallant and yeah she goes there and the house is weird people that still live there are a bit weird because of what is happening there in the estate at the beginning when she goes there she finds out that the uncle hasn't sent the letter she finds out things about her family where she came from who was her mother why things happened the way they happened. I really liked it. I liked the setting of the house, of the idea that we see that there are two houses. So there is this other world kind of thing. And I really liked that idea. What I found weird that I didn't understand how old main character is supposed to be, because I felt like, I think this is a YA, but I felt like the main character is much younger like the way she was i don't know it just gave me much younger vibes than i think it was meant to be but maybe i'm just wrong i haven't looked into what the author meant the main char the main character to be what age she's meant to be so yeah i don't know i felt like she's really young so yeah that, that. And I read a short ebook, Kissed by the Night by Cecilia Mecca, and it is, uh, I feel like it's a short story, and it is a Christmassy kind of romance, historical romance short story. It is set, I feel like, in the 13th century, was it? I remember something like, I, f I feel like it was 12 something something. <laughs> One, two, I don't know what year. I should, I could open, but it's an ebook, so it's not that easily doable, I feel like. But so we have this baker's girl and her childhood best friend, who is the properties, like the one who lives there. I don't know, Earl, not an Earl. I don't remember his title, what he was, Lord something his son comes home they've been childhood friends but actually they have feelings for one another and so it was short yeah it was quick like the things but they've known each other for a really long time and yeah it was a quick short romancy story set around christmas time i liked it though i wasn't a big fan of the ending and some little things in the book but i need to take into the consideration that it was like said really long time ago <laughs> so yeah but it was cute christmasy romance story i read another short christmasy <laughs> story coming home by gary glenn and this one is also set around christmas time our main character has come home <laughs> 
with her husband after not seeing her parents for 10 years because something happened 10 years ago that split up her family so she's now after 10 years are coming back and she wants to make amends with her family we have like two timelines we follow the 10 years ago what happened what led to the things why she hasn't seen her family her parents for 10 years and nowadays the day they go and see them like it was a bit sad because of the reasons why they haven't seen each other for that long it was a bit heartbreaking story but christmasy one <laughs> i finally remembered to read christmasy kind of things stories around this time of the year because i forget that i have books that are set around christmas and i don't really feel like reading them in like june so i finally have done that read them read them in the right time of the year but yeah this is it for my wrap-up those were the six books i read in november please let me know in the comments down below something you read in november and if you liked it and you also can leave comments letting me know what did you think about the books i have read if you have read them too but that's gonna be it for this video i hope you enjoyed this rambly and <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry about the Dune thing section in this wrap up because I feel like, yeah, it is. It was. It is. I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next one. Bye.